This animation shows two identical situations being treated in two different ways. The loss of the central incisor. The animation on the right shows the implant option. Here we have an immediate implant placement followed by the post and core which is secured to the implant fixture followed by a crown. In this situation we do not involve the adjacent teeth. On the left we have the bridge option. Here we must cut down the adjacent teeth. There is significant tooth reduction and the teeth may become sensitive or even need root canal treatment at this early stage of the process. A bridge which is basically two crowns with a tooth in the middle is cemented on top of these prepared teeth. Comparing the two situations at the early stages of post treatment shows that they can have similar cosmetic results. However, with the passage of time, there may be bone atrophy in the area of the missing tooth, which often leads to recession around the adjacent teeth. Depending on the margin integrity, cavities may start to form around and under the crowns. They're difficult to diagnose, and if left undetected, can grow to levels where the cavity reaches the pulp. This in turn may cause root canal problems as well as pathology at the tip of the root. With continued destruction of the tooth, the tooth will have fractures, mobility, and often associated infections. Comparing the two options again highlights the advantage of not encroaching on the adjacent teeth. The infections can create unsightly pus that drains into the mouth, creating a metallic taste and bad breath. Below the gums we have bone destruction. The only solution at this time is to remove the bridge and the destroyed tooth as well. To continue with the bridge option we again need to cut down another tooth and make the bridge bigger. A four unit bridge can then be placed on the two prepared teeth. This bridge will not look as good as the original due to the bone loss. The process of atrophy will continue as before. Comparing the two results now clearly shows the destructive possibility of the bridge with time. Since the number of teeth to support has doubled, there is now even more of a chance to have the same consequences happen to the next tooth. The bridge will once again have to be removed and more teeth prepared to hold the now six unit bridge. Comparing the two options we can see that the implant replacement of a tooth is less traumatic and less expensive in the long term.